Welcome back to The Culture Currency, where we're looking at regions of the world and the beautiful coins that they produce. We've gone over all of the areas except for one, so today we're going to be talking about coins of the Pacific Island region. I hope you enjoy, buckle up, and let's get to it. So there are tons and tons of coins, tons of themes and material that come out of the Pacific Island area, as you will see. Very diverse, very high quality, uh, and very interesting that such a small, remote set of islands can do so much in the world of silver bullion. So at first, we have the nation of Tokelau. The reason we know that is a couple of things. We have this tribal band, as you see. We have the Commonwealth, uh, Her Majesty here, and we have this little bitty box right here, the Tulamu, which is a traditional fishing tackle box. We go to the back, we see the flying fish. Most of the coins from these islands in the Pacific are limited runs. They have a capped mintage, uh, so if you see anything you like, Message me in the comments and I'll let you know uh, if I think they're still available or uh, if you have any questions about them. I, I highly recommend you going to my channel and looking at the different videos that we have over these coins. But this is the Flying Fish. Up next, we have a very iconic nautical themed coin. This is going to be from the Cook Islands. So you can see we have a iconic background. This is one of the backgrounds that people who know coins instantly know where this comes from. And we have right here the HMS Bounty, HMS standing for Her Majesty's Ships. So this is the Bounty. Gorgeous coin. One of the icons of the area. This is a coin from Tokelau and it is absolutely beautiful and ornate. Though it is not minted on the island of Tokelau, it is actually minted by the Pressburg Mint, which can handle a lot of things, and they do world-class designs, as you can see here. This one is called the Kronos, and has to do with time, the idea of time. As you can see, it's one of the most ornate and beautiful coins I have ever seen. So this is the Kronos from the Pressburg Mint. Here's another one from the Pressburg Mint and from Tokelau. This is called the Vivat Humanitas. Tons of different imageries, as you can see uh, in the background. There's what almost look like hieroglyphs. They're alchemaic symbols. We have more alchemaic symbols all around here. Has a really cool design. A lot of symbolism going on. On the reverse, we have more alchemaic symbols, which all are different symbols for silver. Really, really cool coin, well thought out. Up next, we have the nation of Nue. As you can see, this coin kind of looks like a poker chip, and that's by design. This rim right here is made so that these coins are stackable. So you stackers out there might want to look for these. And they are minted in a huge mintage, and so the premiums are not usually very high, and the designs don't change. The Athenian Owl, one of my favorites. Look at those eyes. Just gorgeous. Here we have what I would think is the flag bearer of Nue. This is kind of their standard bullion coin that's mass produced and distributed through the world. Gorgeous coin, as you can see. It's the turtle, which in this case, it's not just a turtle, it's the Hawksbill Sea Turtle. Really, really cool design. I think it highlights the culture quite well, and I love the patterns on the shell, which seem very Pacific Islander. Here is another coin from the nation of Tokelau. As you can see, we have some toning going on. Beautiful design. This is the bull and bear. They have this series where they have animals fighting each other. They have like the Komodo dragon and tiger and, and different weird things. And I don't know if this is a part of that series or if it's 
just highlighting kind of the stock market bull and bear. Um, but it was one that I saw and I had a few bucks left over uh, one month and so I ended up picking it up. This is an interesting coin because though it is made by the island of Niue, what we see is that this coin is very much European in its format. And that's because it has to do with the Czech Republic. And that's the Czech Republic lion made by the nation of Niue for some reason. Here's another Pressburg Mint Tokelau coin. This one is called the Equilibrium. All about balance, harmony. As you can see with the yin and yang. About as beautiful of a coin as you could ask for. Once again, with our traditional Tokelau coins, you can tell by the band here that this is Tokelau plus the Tuluma. We have the Mast Owl. This is a series of different owls that they did. This one happens to be the Mast Owl, though they have, I think, four or five others. Very low mintage coin. Pretty cool overall. Another coin from Tokelau and the Pressburg Mint. This is the Terra, obviously meaning Earth. As we can see, Earth is right there. A little busy, this coin, but beautiful nonetheless. From the nation of Niue, this one is a series that highlights the feng shui of Asian culture. This is where there's different elements, colors, animals that all have to do with balance and how you want to lay out your house and get, you know, fortune upon you and all these other things. You can learn about that in my video if you're interested. But this is the Celestial Tiger. I thought the depiction was beautiful uh, as it seems to be very much traditional. Here is the nation of New Guinea. As you can see, the bird of paradise is very important to them. And what do you know? This is the bird of paradise. A beautifully ornate coin. This coin is from the nation of Fiji, which is an island coin, and they did a series over the samurai, and the reason being is they wanted to highlight the trade negotiations with Japan, and so they have series over Japanese themes. This right here is Kayamori, who is a samurai that has a very interesting and tragic story uh, that you can learn about in my video, but it's a beautiful coin, and this scene is actually taken from ancient artwork depicting the trials of Kayamori. This coin is from the nation of Samoa. And it is the Serpent of Milan. And yes, Milan as in Milan, Italy. This is a very, very important, uh, I guess you would call it a sigil, sigil, or the heraldry of a particular family in the history of Milan. And it highlights that ancient artwork in a very beautiful way. I know it's kind of creepy. You have a giant snake eating a baby, but that's neither here nor there. Here we have another coin from the nation of Tokelau. As you can see, we have that rim. And this is the lionfish. Which apparently is known as the Haku Haku Lele. And that's your fun fact of the week. Another coin from the nation of Fiji. And one of my favorite coins in the 
Pacific. This is the Great Wave. And this is a piece of artwork from, I think it's the 50 views from Mount Fiji, which Mount Fiji you can see right there in the distance. But this is probably the most iconic of that set of artwork collection, and uh, it's known as the Great Wave. Absolutely gorgeous. And so when holding this coin, it's like you're holding an actual piece of historic art. Here we have a classic. This is from Tuvalu. This coin I purchased for probably 20 something dollars and the popularity has been unmatched in the marketplace and it is currently valued over $100. So if you want to double your money in silver, well, buy the right coins, I guess. <laughs> but this is the Queen Anne's Revenge. Pirates are highly collectible in silver. I wonder why. You can see the skull over here in the clouds. This is going to be Blackbeard's ship, among others. Beautiful, beautiful coin from Tuvalu. And our last coin is right here. Tokelau. Through the Pressburg Mint. This is called the Magnum Opus, or Great Work. Has to do with the golden ratio of divine proportions and things like that. Fibonacci sequence. Really, really cool coin. So as you can see, the Pacific Islands are just shocked full of beautiful, beautiful coins. I think that you should look into those if you have not already got them. But I would say that uh, a big part of my collection is from these little bitty islands out in the middle of nowhere. I hope you've enjoyed this series, and I hope you continue to stay classy and current with the culture of currency.